If a DIY tile project is on your to-do list, choosing the right grout for the job and knowing how to mix it can save you time and money. Here's what you'll need. First, determine whether your tiling project calls for sanded or unsanded grout. If your grout lines are 1 8 inch thick or wider, we recommend sanded grout due to its minimal shrinkage. However, if your tile has a polished finish or is easily scratched, unsanded grout may be the best choice. Unsanded grout has a smooth texture that's best used in narrow grout lines. It's also stickier, so it's ideal for tiling walls and backsplashes. Both are cement-based, which means they dry slowly and are easier to work with. Cement-based grout also provides excellent strength and durability. Once you've gathered your materials and tools, you're ready to start mixing the grout. Check out your product's instructions to determine the precise amount of powder you'll need to get started. And remember, it's best to mix small batches so the grout doesn't dry out too quickly. Next, add 3 quarters the amount of water called for in the instructions and begin mixing, either by hand with the trowel or using a drill with a mixer attachment. If using the drill, go slow to avoid creating excessive air bubbles which can weaken the mix. For more control, soak a sponge in clean water, then squeeze it over the mixture. Ideally, grout should cling to your trowel like smooth peanut butter. Finally, let the grout sit undisturbed for 5 to 10 minutes so that it can strengthen or slake. Then. Briefly stir the grout to loosen it up before completing your tiling project. Good luck, and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.